The second class of New Mexico State men's basketball ring of honor includes three Aggie grits that have been forever tied to the tradition and success that is Aggie basketball. Coach Jerry Hines led New Mexico A&M basketball and football from 1929 to 1940. He was also a four-year letterman for the Aggies in both football and basketball. While the coach, Aggie basketball was almost unstoppable in the mid-30s, posting a record of 102 and 36. Hines' squad won three border conference championships during this span and his 1939 Aggie team was selected for the NIT tournament in Madison Square Garden. The Aggies also defeated UNM 19 times in a row with Coach Hines on the sideline. Head coach Jerry Hines is the third longest tenured coach and third winningest coach in New Mexico State history with 157 wins and is now a member of the Men's Basketball Ring of Honor. Jimmy Cactus Collins, known for his prickly defense and behind the head jump shot, was the second of Saturday night's inductees. Bringing Collins to New Mexico State proved to be an excellent coaching decision by Coach Lou Henson. Jimmy Collins is a 6'2", skinny kid, he can't jump. And I said, well, we got the scholarships, let's take you. Well, he didn't even visit the campus. It took him four days on a bus to get from Syracuse, New York to Las Cruces, New Mexico. And he turned out being All-American. Collins averaged 19.3 points a game during his junior year and over 24 as a senior. That may be why he's the only three-time All-American selection in New Mexico State history. Collins also holds the school's single season scoring record with 754 points and shots made with 322. He's also number three in school history with 1,734 career points. Along with Sam Lacey, Collins was the all-star of New Mexico State's 1969 NCAA tournament team and 1970 Final Four squad. After a victory over Kansas State, the fifth ranked Aggies knocked off the Drake Bulldogs by the score of 87 to 78 to become Midwest Regional Champions and advance to the Final Four in 1970. A former first round draft pick for the Chicago Bulls, Collins has been the head coach at the University of Illinois Chicago for the last 12 seasons. The third inductee into the Ring of Honor is the late John Williamson. Labeled as a marvel to watch and a prolific scorer by former NMSU head coach Lou Henson, Williamson donned the crimson and white from 1971 to 1973. Williamson came to New Mexico State as the most sought after player in the nation and proved why in his three seasons at New Mexico State. Coach Lou Henson describes just one of John's miraculous games. He's one of the finest offensive players I've ever coached and uh, one night we played UTEP and UTEP had great ball clubs at that time. UTEP had 21 points and John had 29. He was that type of scorer, just uh, is almost impossible to stop him. That same season, Williamson paced the Aggies in scoring in 22 of their 26 games and was the nation's sixth leading scorer with 27.1 points per game. While Jimmy Collins had success at the collegiate level, Williamson went on to great success in the ABA with the New York Nets and was a member of the 1974 and 1976 championship teams. His number 23 was retired by the Nets on December 7, 1990. These three gentlemen who have helped to define what is Aggie basketball will forever be known as Aggie greats as they are the newest members of the men's basketball ring of honor.